Hello, I'm Rachel from Discover and thank you so much for joining me today. Explorers, we are going on the best adventure. Now I'm just finishing off packing my bag. Last few bits to go. Water bottle, of course, very important. Oh, snack. Toothbrush, of course. Um, oh, just in case my feet get cold. Can't have cold toes. My binoculars. And most importantly, a fantastic book. Right. Well, that's all packed and ready to go. So it must be time for our story. The Best Place in the World by Petter Heretic, published by Walker Books. Hare and his friends, the rabbits, were sitting at the top of the hill. They were looking down at their meadow. The meadow was beautiful. Do you think this is the best place in the whole world? Hare asked his friends. Of course it is, said the rabbits. It's the place where we can run and play chase together. But surely we can run anywhere, said Hare. The rabbits didn't hear him. They had already started running. What do you think? Hare asked his other friends, is our meadow the best place in the world? Definitely, said Bear. But why? asked Hare. Because of the bees, said Bear. And when there are bees, there is honey. I love honey. And most of all, I love sharing it with you. But bees and honey are everywhere, said Hare. Hare saw the little birds. What do you think, he said, is our meadow the best place in the whole world? Yes, said the little birds. But why, asked Hare. It's surrounded by trees, said the little birds. We love singing to you from high up. But there are high trees everywhere, said Hare. And he went to ask Duck. This is definitely the best place in the world, said Duck. But why? asked Hare. I like swimming in the stream, said Duck. But there are streams everywhere, said Hare. Still looking for the answer, Hare visited Owl. Do you think our meadow is the best place in the world? didn't answer. Instead, she said, you have asked us all this question. Why don't you explore the world and find out for yourself? The next morning, Hare left home and set off to look for the best place in the world. He soon found himself walking through the most wonderful fields and orchards. The rabbits would like running here. Maybe this is the best place in the world, said Hare. He saw gushing rivers and waterfalls. Duck would love swimming here. This could be the best place in the world, said Hare. Hare climbed the mountains. It is so peaceful here and it is so high. I know, the birds would love it, said Hare. Perhaps this is the best place in the world. Eventually, Hare reached the sea. The sun is like a pot of honey, he thought. I know that Bear would love it here. This must be the best place in the world. After travelling all over the world, Hare came to the desert. 
He lay down, looked at the stars above. He thought about Owl and all of the beautiful places he had seen. He felt lonely. Suddenly, he knew the answer to his question. He jumped up and ran through the desert, over the hills, up the mountains, across the fields, through the woods, all the way home. Because the best place in the world is where your friends are. <laughs> Explorers! Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you liked that. If you did like that story, just click in the description below and all the details about it are there. Well, I hope that you keep exploring and discovering new and wonderful places. And of course, making time for those that you love. I really hope to see you at Discover very, very soon. Take care. Bye bye.